This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by Domain.com. Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm Mark Lentangan from Techno Buffalo, and in today's video, we'll be taking a look at iOS 9 on the iPad Air 2. Yesterday at WWDC, Apple talked about the new features coming to iOS 9, and shortly after the keynote, we actually did a video showcasing the new OS in action using an iPhone. We'll leave that link down below just in case you guys haven't seen that video yet. The iOS 9 update includes a plethora of cool features like the addition of a smarter Siri, an updated notes app, a new search menu, and transit inside maps, among other features. But it's the multitasking features coming to the iPad we're most excited about. There are a few different methods to do this, slide over and split view. Slide over lets you open a second app without leaving the one you're in, so if you're browsing the web, you can also have the Messages app open, but if, for example, you're watching a YouTube video, you can also look through your Twitter feed. Slide over will fill the screen 70 to 30, but unfortunately, you can't adjust these panes. You can, however, easily switch the app that shows up in a right pane by swiping down from the top. Now, to enable slide over, your iPad must be in landscape mode, and you simply swipe left from the right side of your screen, and it'll start showing apps that are available for slide over. Split view, meanwhile, takes that one step further. Instead of a 70-30 layout, each app will be open and active on each side of your screen with a break directly down in the middle. This feature will allow you to interact with both panes and be more productive, like if you're writing an email and doing research online, for example. But as of now, Split View only works with Apple's own apps like Safari, Calendar, and Notes, but hopefully we'll start seeing more apps get supported for iOS 9. Both of these new features are designed to make the iPad a more powerful productivity machine. Other tablets have already boasted these features, and now that they've come to the iPad, it makes Apple's device that much more exciting. There's even a new picture-in-picture -picture mode, which will allow you to do something like FaceTime while writing an email. Just press the home button, your video will scale down and continue to play while you use another app. We tried it out, and it works flawlessly so far. Now, picture-in-picture -picture mode obviously isn't new, but again, it makes the iPad more powerful. And last but not least is the new QuickType keyboard. Apple redesigned the keyboard in iOS iOS 9 for iPad giving users a built-in shortcut bar. It'll give you options to copy and paste, bold, italicize, or underline a text, and you'll also be able to quickly add attachments if you're writing an email by using the paperclip icon. Typing on an iPad has never been a fun experience, but these features certainly make it more manageable. You can also use on-screen keyboard as a trackpad to quickly control the cursor on your iPad by simply moving two fingers across the screen. With this feature, you'll be able to move the cursor more accurately, and you'll also be able to highlight text much more easily. Apple also added keyboard shortcuts for wireless keyboards, like the ability to switch between apps or bringing up search, but you'll also be able to interact with your apps using a keyboard's own built-in custom shortcuts, which is an awesome feature if you made the switch over from a traditional PC to a tablet. Let me stop the video real fast and thank our friends over at Domain.com. It's the place to go when the next great idea hits you. It's a one-stop shopping for all your domain names and web hosting email needs. Domain wants to hook our fans up with a pretty cool offer. Save 20% on domain names and web hosting if you use the coupon code TECHNOBUFFALO. It's all one word in caps at Domain.com's checkout. Now, all of these features are meant to make the iPad a more powerful device, especially for people who use the slate to get work done. The multitasking feature are borrowed from other companies, but that doesn't make them any less exciting. All of these new iPad features like picture-in-picture -picture mode, slide over, and the new QuickType keyboard will work with the iPad Air, iPad Mini 2, and iPad Mini 3, while the split view mode will only work with the iPad Air 2. Now, since this is just the first beta, we can also see new features in future updates, and if there are any major changes in future iOS 9 betas, we'll be sure to keep you guys in a loop. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and if you guys enjoy this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, and we will, of course, see you guys in the next one.